Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending where you're watching from. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you. Please, if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe, okay? As I bring you the latest gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife, it was alleged that uh, Dr. Elizabeth have screened down the whole palace. According to the gist, they say she wake up at night crying, shouting, as in doing it until daybreak. So when she was asked what the problem was, she said that this whole thing started from the very first day she started sleeping in this palace. That at night while she was sleeping, that they will be pressing her, trying to cry her. And this has been a very big problem to her. So she was afraid. You know, Dr. Elizabeth, she was born and brought up abroad. So she's not familiar with all this press. She's not familiar with all this pressing at all. You know, in this part of our uh, country, in Africa, we call it uh, witchcraft, as in the attacking attack by the spirit of incubus and succubus. Hey. <laughs> And when things like that happens, we seek traditional help or spiritual help because it is believed that it's a uh, spiritual matter. And again, for it to happen to you, it doesn't happen ordinarily that someone that is close to you or someone that knows you or someone that is living around you must have been involved. So, but where she was, she grew up, uh, it was called sleep paralysis or so and when things like that happen they go to they go to mental hospitals where they will be uh, checked uh, and uh, give medications for that but here in africa eh, we believe that when something like that happens as in while you are sleeping they will be pressing you trying to tie you we believe that it is spirit of a uh, witchcraft or the spirit of incubus and succubus. And this has been what this young woman, Dr. Elizabeth, has been passing through ever she uh, since uh, ever since she started sleeping in that palace. And even her mother, who chose to at least spend like one week with her before going, said that she is highly disappointed that such a thing has a, such an act can be going on in the palace of Oni of Ife, a very a great palace, a palace of a traditionalist like her, where there are about 40 Ife priests, you know, and they're highly traditional. And it is also alleged that uh, Oni of Ife is a spiritually inclined man. So for things like this to be happening in her palace, it is uh, disappointing. And that was why uh, Dr. Elizabeth decided that she is not going to keep quiet any longer. That if she keep quiet, they might, you know, buy her one, one of these nights that they are pressing her. So she decided to speak up. She decided to start crying because according to the gist, it was said that she started crying, crying, screaming, screaming on top of her voices. That all the Oloris, not that the quarters of the Oloris are different from where the king was staying. So, as in, she raised the alarm, shouting, they won't, they won't find me, oh, what did I do now, you know? Hey, no be married, I can't marry you. As in, she was like, how can this be happening to me? Because according to the gist, all her life, she never experienced anything of that nature. So, for her to uh, come back, come to the palace to start experiencing such a thing. It was very strange and alarming to her. So she have to raise an alarm. She have to uh, speak out so that she will not die in silence. So she will not... Uh -huh. So that, uh, the, that have been the case in the palace as I'm talking to you. So many people have been saying a whole lot of things about it. You know, online in-laws now, they say that the spirits that are in the palace have decided to welcome her too, you know? 
because she doesn't know what she's involving her, she have involved herself in. This is one of the things. So, and like we used to hear that all these other Oloris, many of them are highly prepared for this polygamy stuff. And being prepared, not just financially, not just physically, but spiritually, as most of them are spiritually prepared. And they are <laughs> they are deep into spiritual things. That is what we are hearing. I don't know which one is true or not. But for things to start happening like this, you know, and it was said that for this thing to happen, uh, someone that is close must have been involved. Uh -huh. As you normally believe that uh, maybe it's someone that doesn't like you or someone that don't want you to stay there that will be pressing you with such a thing for you to run away. Because if they think, if such thing continues, I don't think Dr. Elizabeth is going to relax in that palace. Definitely, she will run as fast as her legs and carry her. You know? So, I don't know what you guys think about it. But the fact remains that, as it is now, she is, as in, she is afraid of sleeping. When the night is fast approaching, she will be, oh, so I'm going to start experiencing this again. She no longer sleep well. Uh -huh. They have decided to welcome her. Uh -huh. I don't know who is welcoming her in this form, or whether or not the spirit that in the palace, or the five priests, or the elders, or the her fallen oloris, or nah, she no. Now some people talk, say, eh, why be say all the Oloris where they palace no they complain this kind of thing? The the talk say um uh, not only she, if you be like saying a person will come from her side, they do this thing to her, you know. So a lot of things have been flying on concerning this uh, issue of pressing and sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis. This beke ibigo. So that is the gist. In the palace of Oni of Fife, as we are talking to you, and don't forget that all these things that we are saying, uh, we filter them from social media and some other sources. We are not living in the palace of Oni of Fife, oh, they are not first hand information, so they should be treated as such. Whatever you think about it, do well to say it in the comment section. Do you think is the follow Oloris that are doing it to her, or the far priest? Or the spirit that are in the that are in the palace, because one thing is certain: sometimes when a woman comes for a marriage, both the the physical and the spirit being in that palace will welcome her. So maybe well, this is one of the you know welcoming you know <laughs> I don't know. But thank you so much for uh, stopping by, okay? And don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye for now.